Hi, my name is Sylvie. I am a certified health coach and I help women look great and feel great through fasting and whole food nutrition. In today's video, I am going to go through my top nine most life-changing one meal a day health benefits. So we're going to go through these one meal a day health benefits and then I'm going to share a few tips uh, that you can try if the one meal a day diet or OMAD diet is not working for you. So let's get started with the benefits. Number one, ketosis without eating keto. And that is a benefit that I have mentioned before. It applies to most other intermittent fasting methods. However, if you're not eating keto and you want to be in ketosis, it may require a longer fast, particularly if you are not going in and out of ketosis daily or if you are new to fasting. At first, it may be a bit harder to achieve ketosis and that's why longer fasts or the keto diet may be helpful. Uh, but once you've achieved it and once you've been in and out of ketosis, it is actually fairly easy and I find that usually by around noon, I am in mild ketosis, and then by four or so, even earlier sometimes, um, my ketone level is around 1.2 or even a little bit higher sometimes. And so that is a huge benefit because once you start going in and out of ketosis, you become what is called metabolically flexible, so your body gets used to using both glucose and ketones for fuel, and that has many benefits. For one, you'll start feeling different. You'll have more energy, you'll have more focus and less appetite. You'll experience fewer cravings. And also many health experts refer to using ketones for fuel as a cleaner source of energy. And as you may know, the ketogenic diet is uh, commonly used uh, for cancer patient and for cancer prevention. And believe me, once you experience ketosis, um, you won't want to go back. I don't do the keto diet and I'm okay with going out of ketosis, but I definitely do not want to use uh, glucose for fuel on a consistent basis. And I love the benefits that I ex that have been experiencing every single day um, throughout my fasting hours when I achieve ketosis. You do feel the difference. And I recommend you, um, you consider that. It's a huge health benefit. Now, if you are new to fasting and new to ketosis, I recommend you purchase a ketone monitor. Um, I have the Keto Mojo and I recommend you look it up. I will leave a link in the description below. It'll give you a 15% discount um, if you decide to buy it. One meal a day health benefit number two, intestinal stem cell repair. I'm sure you've heard of the importance of gut health, an ever increasing number of studies talk about how gut health impacts everything else in your body from your mood, your mental state, your cognitive function, your weight, allergies, and pretty much everything else. And that is why the fact that fasting helps with intestinal cell repair is an incredible benefit. Now, how long do you need to fast to repair your gut? Well, of course, it depends from one person to the next, but there are some general guidelines and some studies talk about a 24 hour fast. And that's one reason some people who promote the OMAD diet uh, recommend that you fast for 24 hours and then eat during the next hour. So that means that you're your eating window, your one hour eating window would be moving one hour down each day. But most people would practice the uh, OMAD method by fasting for 23 hours and eating during one hour. And this way you always have the same one hour eating window. Um, 23 hours is pretty close to 24 hours. I feel there's a pretty good chance that you would start seeing some intestinal cell repair um, throughout this fasting window but I mean it's it's something to consider. OMAD health benefit number three fewer calories without counting calories and again I've talked about this 
before in previous videos, intermittent fasting is a great way to lose weight because it naturally helps you decrease the number of calories that you consume and it takes away the need to feel constantly deprived by measuring portions and feeling a little bit hungry as you're trying to reduce your calorie consumption at every single meal. The problem with some intermittent fasting method like the 16-8 method for example is that it may be too easy to eat too many calories during an eight hour window. And the advantage of the OMAD diet is that it would be pretty hard <laughs> to eat too many calories during a one hour window. Although it does happen, it may happen, it's just a lot harder to do. And benefit number four ties in with this, it's greater food freedom. If you don't have to count calories, that can be very liberating for many people. But it's not just about counting calories. On most types of diets, you will feel deprived. And, and you may feel deprived a lot because you have this constant battle within yourself. Uh, sometimes you, you give in to some treats and then you feel guilty about it and it's a constant mental battle. However, with intermittent fasting and with the shorter eating window, um, giving in to food temptations during this eating window is not, is not as big of a deal. And you will notice that you don't feel guilty. Anyway, I don't, and I, I think most people don't. Obviously, I recommend you eat whole food, and I recommend that you avoid junk food as much as possible. But once in a while, you can treat yourself, and that's fine. And that's the advantage of a short eating window, is that when you do treat yourself, there's no guilt, and there shouldn't be any guilt. All right, so one meal a day, health benefit number five, improved insulin sensitivity. And that is a huge health benefit. Improved insulin sensitivity affects every aspect of your health. It's well known that intermittent fasting in general improves your insulin sensitivity. And obviously that goes with OMAD as well. If you are insulin resistant, and most of us tend to be um, as we age, your body is not efficient anymore as far as converting sugar into energy. And that causes many health issues from little annoyances like poor sleep and lack of energy to more serious complications like severe high blood sugar, severe low blood sugar, heart attacks, stroke, kidney disease, cancer, and the list goes on and on. OMAD health benefit number six, better sleep. Fasting for at least 12 hours helps improve your circadian rhythm, which means a deeper and better sleep. It's always a good idea to avoid eating at least three hours before you go to bed. Not only this will improve your sleep, but it will help you eliminate late night food cravings. Routine eating patterns help your body adopt a consistent sleeping schedule and reduce night awakenings. Okay, so one meal a day, health benefit number seven. More energy, greater focus, and productivity. Well, it's obvious that sleep will help improve your productivity and your energy. There's your improved and insulin sensitivity and your body running on ketones, that all will contribute to having more energy and greater focus. And besides all that, fasting helps your body create more new brain cells. That process is called neurogenesis and studies show that intermittent fasting helps stimulate neurogenesis. I mean, your body regenerates itself um, in general. As you fast, uh, your body regenerates everything pretty much and it's called autophagy. It eats up the dead cells and create new ones. That goes for your brain cells. Also fasting boosts the production of a protein called BDNF. BDMF boosts your memory, improves your mood, and helps you learn faster. Benefit number eight, reduced inflammation. Fasting is associated with the reduction of inflammation markers like the C-reactive protein, but it also helps strengthen your immune function and normalize your immune function. OMAD is particularly effective at improving your immune function because 
fasting for roughly a day increases your T cells effectiveness in killing pathogens and cancerous cells. It's fascinating, right? And furthermore, fasting decreases white blood cell counts and in turn stimulates the production of new white blood cells. Lastly, our one meal a day health benefit number nine promotes longevity. Switching from glucose to ketones daily for fuel is definitely one of the main mechanisms behind the benefits of intermittent fasting on health, aging, and disease. And also longer fast, two days or more, help enhance uh, human growth hormone secretion. However, a lower body fat percentage also helps improve um, human growth hormone secretion and that's what intermittent any type of intermittent fasting will accomplish for you hopefully uh, that's one of the goals of many people who start with intermittent fasting it's to lose weight decrease body fat percentage and so that is a huge benefit because once you achieve your goal weight you help your body um, stay younger longer by increasing human growth hormone production all right, so now that we talked about the nine one meal a day health benefits, what do you do if one meal a day isn't working for you? I have three tips to give you. Number one, try modified fasting. I've talked about modified fasting so often on my blog. I am a big proponent of it, as you may be aware. Uh, so what I'll do, I'll, link, I'll leave a link in the description. You can check out a some great resources about modified fasting and some meal plans that you can implement as well. But just to give you a brief overview, modified fasting is a prolonged fast because prolonged fasting has many health benefits. Uh, there's a lot more healing that happens when you fast for longer. It's just that a prolonged water fast is not achievable for most people. Uh, many people, first of all, don't have enough experience with fasting, but also we live in a very toxic world and many people has, have so many toxins that if they try a prolonged water fast, they experience terrible detox symptoms and they, they can become really ill. So I believe that a modified fast is a better option. It, is, it does severely restrict your calorie intake, usually by 40 to 50%, but it gives you nourishing foods that will help with the healing process. Uh, the macros are usually pretty low in protein because a low protein diet helps uh, with autophagy and the amount of carbs and healthy fats is usually about the same. So you would have about 10% protein and 45% carb, 45% fat. It's That is all based on the guidelines set out by Dr. Walter Longo. Uh, who came up with the fasting mimicking diet, which is by far the most well-known modified fast out there. Number two, I would recommend that you troubleshoot OMAD. So if you're you not experiencing the results that you want on the OMAD diet, well, there's a few things you can look into. There's a few reasons uh, that may cause that. And I, I wrote a whole blog post about it, created a video on that as well. So I'll link it here. But lastly, um, you can experiment with other forms of intermittent fasting. OMAD is not necessarily the right intermittent fasting for everyone. It's not even the one I use. And some other method might work better for you. So it may be time if you've been doing the OMAD diet for a month and if you've troubleshooted and uh, it's not working out for you, well, you can experiment with other intermittent fasting method. That's the thing. Many people start with some type of intermittent fasting and they don't realize that there are so many ways to practice intermittent fasting. And so when they don't get the results that they want, they just give up. But don't. I mean, you can try other method and I will help you do that as well um, by linking another video I created to help you find the right intermittent fasting method for you. And it may be a good idea even to switch things up consistently uh, over the course of the year. 
my main goal when I teach you um, in my videos and my blog posts is to help you learn to listen to your body and experiment. I never, um, I never claim to have found the right one answer that works for everyone. There's no such thing. And so what I want to encourage you to do is just learn and keep trying different things and take charge of your health. That is really the most important thing. So I hope you found this video useful. I am so glad you joined me again this week. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you haven't done so already for more great informational videos on fasting and the benefits of intermittent fasting.